Good evening. Uh, I'm Tina. Uh, this is a th theory video, and uh, which we want to discuss uh, different ways to maintain a conversational state. Okay, between uh, browser client and uh, the server side. Okay, and as we know. <coughs> As we know, <laughs> HTTP request, uh, HTTP protocol itself is stateless, and the HTTP request is also stateless. Okay, which means the server side never, by default, will consider uh, every request that goes to server side is a totally new request. So for a sequential request, the server side by default doesn't cannot recognize. Uh, it's uh, from the same client or different client. They don't know. So, but it's uh, the 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 this conversational state is very critical for us for a website because we have to track the user. Like uh, if we want to track the user if it's logged in, and we want to know a sequential request is coming from the, this logged in logged in user. Okay, so this uh, state management of uh, uh, sessions are very important, and uh, there are many different ways to track users, and uh, we we just name it as session tracking. Okay, and uh, let's discuss. Basically, we actually we kind of like have four ways. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, this is a theory video, okay? And the next video, I will show you the demo for one of them, not all of them, okay? Mm, because some uh, some others are very tedious to implement. So I don't want to do that, but I give you some give you ideas how to implement that. So session tracking, the first way you already learned is what cookie. Right, you already uh, um, last two videos. I explain what is cookie and how to use cookie. And if you want to track a conversational request, you can actually for each of the client you send set, set a, a unique uh, identifier. Then you tra keep track of that. This is one way, okay. But this way, if you only use a cookie, okay, you have to do manually. All the things you have to maintain manually, okay. And the second one is using HTTP session. And this HTTP session is a way to uh, maintain a conversational uh, state by web container. Maintained by web container. In our case, web container is what is a Tomcat. Okay. Now let me uh, draw the behavior of using HTTP session. Okay, and uh, the web content, the Tomcat to maintain the HTTP session is uh, through cookie. And to retrieve cookie, to set the cookie, all the things is done by Tomcat, okay, which is our web container. So let me draw. Suppose here is our browser. This is our browser, okay, our client browser. And this is our web container. Okay, like uh, let's use uh, Tomcat as example. Okay, so if uh, here I have a uh, uh, servlet A and uh, servlet B, and uh, let's just using two. Okay, uh, when we have a request that goes to servlet A, okay, if in servlet A, if in servlet A, let me see if I have enough space. Okay, like this way. Okay, good. If in servlet A we do something like this, a uh, request dot get session. 
okay then dot set attribute and the key value pair key is the user and the value uh, suppose you you have a Tina here when you do that and when we when when the when we make a response back to the client tomcat itself when you see uh, you have this re you have oh sorry sorry you have this piece of code tomcat do by default tomcat will maintain a session on the server side so suppose this part entire is in tomcat okay tom uh, sorry, what was, how, how, how can i do it tomcat somewhere somewhere in tomcat we are have suppose the, the, this part in tomcat okay he will have a, a gestation id like a one two three four five some random number let me use in some random number okay a uh, two five six seven eight which is uh, represent this guy okay this is id equals this one this id will uniquely identify this user this user and uh, in this user this key this is a key gonna have map to something else which is a key value like a user from this key it can find the user yes tina if you have some like a hello equals word like this okay you are generated a unique identifier and then this unique identifier will point to kind of like a, a, a collection of data and which is a key value pair you set inside your session you can think as this way okay and then how this unique identifier being sent to the browser using cookie he will when it when the return he will using set cookie is like before okay set cookie and key is uh, the default key is called a gestation id okay s e s s i o n equals seven five six uh two this is two eight right two eight okay okay got it and then next time so if the same client make a request to slash b which is the server letter b okay this cookie will be in the request header right it in the request header cookie C O O K I E. It's gonna have a uh, uh, gestation ID, and the seven five six two eight automatically bind or or the browser will automatically put cookie. This gestation ID cookie goes to the web container, and then Tomcat will know. Okay, do I have a gestation ID? in my server in the container if it's fine it will say okay it will recognize it's these two requests uh, go to server a and server b is goes to the same uh, client and if in the um, uh, see here if in the re uh, in uh, server b if you're using request get uh, session and dot uh, get attribute okay this is set okay get attribute and if you're using user then it will return an object you can done casting to get a tina if you're using get hello suppose we said hello then based on what we draw here it's gonna give you word got it and you can also <coughs> suppose you make a request to a again it will still it was you can still get the user equal tina and the hello world okay but when you close the browser okay when you close the browser uh the gestation id is gonna be deleted in the browser side so it will consider as a new request new user to the server side again okay 
So now, if suppose we have a new uh, another client, this client is making okay, is making request and communicate with the server side. Suppose at the same time we have a new request goes to servlet A. Okay, and in this request, there's no this session ID, so it goes to the Tomcat. It will it will consider as a new request. Okay, and it goes to server A. Server A say user Tina. Okay, even we set exactly same thing, but the ID is different. ID this one will be two eight nine zero zero suppose like this and it was still also this id will point somewhere and which can find the user equal tina this key value pair and also hello world okay they are different even though the data is same okay in order to suppose and then uh, goes back okay and then he will also set a cookie and uh, also using the J session ID. This part all done, the cookie and the session, the gener generate the cookie ID, uh, generate the J session ID. Those are all done by Tomcat. You don't need to take care of. You just write a code to set attribute or delete attribute. And here will be J session ID equals 28900, okay? And suppose I make a request again, then here, to uh, server letter B and the cookie will have uh, just session ID 289000. It will always refer to this identifier. So for different browser, even though they make to the same request, same server letter, and you, you set the same attribute, but the identifier stored inside the Tomcat is different, and which will uh, uh, which will cause the just session ID set to different browser or different client is different. Okay. Got it? This is HTTP session, okay? And uh, HTTP session, uh, based on this diagram I show you, is maintained by Tomcat, which means the conversational state is maintained by the web container. And the web container to maintain is using J session ID. And also it maintained through cookie. And the default key is called the J session ID, the Tomcat default key, okay? And later on, I will show you uh, the code for you, okay? Show you the code. And the third one, this is second one. Third one is you can using a uh, URL rewriting. Uh, if possible, I will show you a demo for URL writing. And the URL writing it happens is uh, when cookie is uh, disabled. Sometimes, if you disable the uh, cookie uh, for like a security reason, and uh, the Tomcat uh, to maintain the session. We cannot using this uh, cookie way, right? So what we do is uh, we will rewrite every URL. What does it mean? Suppose uh, uh, I don't want to draw again. <laughs> uh, suppose I have a client, okay, and I have uh, the container, and here have uh, uh, servlet A, here have uh, servlet B. Okay, and uh, we make a request to our server, like go to server A. And in the server A, you have a request dot get session dot set attribute. Okay, set attribute. Uh, Tina uh, one two three. Okay, so if you do that and your cookie is disabled, that means we cannot using the uh, traditional way, right? You cannot using the cookie way. So what I do is, uh, suppose here you redirect, uh, redirect, okay? You redirect or forward, okay? And suppose I say redirect uh, 303, redirect to slash B, okay? And then we goes back, it will rewrite like B and have semi the comma like then uh, this is called the semi another semicolon 
Is it called a semicolon or something? Uh, anyway, this this thing, okay? Then he will append the gestation ID here. Equals one, two, three, four. Like that. then uh, also the same thing here. Okay, I forgot. Then here have ID equals one, two, three, four, and uh, it will it will have like uh, Tina equals one, two, three. From this, uh, uh, from if you have a same request comes, it will find also find. But all your gestation ID is append on the URL. This is called the URL writing. And uh, this is used uh, the cookie when the cookie is uh, disabled or not. And uh, how can we know if a browser um, is disabled a cookie or not? Question. How can the Tomcat or web container know if the browser cookie is being disabled or not? Uh, very simple. Uh, the first request if the for a browser when the client make the first request to the web container it will use it can use both of ways using cookie and a session together uh, using cookie and uh, uh, you are writing okay or you can directly just using cookie way but uh, if the next request comes to the web container there's no cookie being back to the web container then we know the cookie is being disabled right because if it's not disabled the second request to go to server we can get the cookie but if it's disabled then we cannot get so we can know the browser's cookie is being disabled this is a one okay this one uh, this one is not maintained by manually. Uh, if I remember correctly, the server that API have API to re, uh, rewriting rewrite the URL. Okay, and I haven't tested this piece. Next one is four is using hidden fields. And for this one, uh, tedious, and you have to do you have to maintain manually. Hidden fields means. Uh, for every page you are accessing, okay, if you want to maintain, you have to have these uh, hidden fields in every page if you want to maintain. Then you can use in like uh, uh, name. Yes, uh, 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 my session ID and uh, value. You set the actual value generated on the server side the first time you generated like a b two five six nine eight okay like this and uh, for every request you have to passing this uh, hidden field between the server and the client okay everyone so this one is very tedious I want to show you a demo you can try by yourself okay uh, I haven't seen <laughs> This one I haven't seen the website using hidden fields. Okay, it's very tedious. Okay, okay. Anyway, so that's the uh, four ways uh, I summarized. If you want to track the session, okay. And uh, for the demo, I will show definitely show you this one, like uh, using HTTP session. Okay, and this is uh, API provided by uh, Serverlet. And it will gonna using cookie. You are rewriting and uh, hidden fields. If I have time, I can show you. Okay, but I definitely probably not. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video, and I hope you like like it. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.